what up youtube andy hops here how you guys doing sorry i've been in a phase lately called wearing my hat forward it's ridiculous i know mm, this just in guys like i think i literally mm, i mean i've vented all to you but you guys like i think i literally had a mental like real breakdown or something like something had happened like because I've been drinking my whole life and I've been doing drugs my whole life. I get shit catches up to you, right? Like, I feel a little bit slower, like mentally, you know, like a little ate up, as we call it. Um, but other than that, like, and then I, just, like, you know, sometimes I feel my organs burn a little bit. And uh, I should be working out, dude. Like, but... This is what amazes me. So a lot of my subscribers literally are like more like my real family than like my family. Like my real subscribers reach out to me every day, like every three days. How you doing? Do you need anything? Can I send you money? Like what? <laughs> my family, a lot of them don't even call me on my birthday, Christmas. And like, as you know, I was recently put in the hospital for two days, which is weird. I wasn't suicidal. I was forced to go and it pretty much topsy turvied my life, like spiraled it. Not everybody's life spirals because they do drugs and alcohol. Sometimes people do drugs and alcohol because their life is spiraling. I feel like even though I'm fighting it, to the tooth and nail, like I'm trying to be better and stay on the up and up and being clean and everything. I feel like this has spiraled my life. Like, this whole fake, I care about you, let's get you in the hospital, has spiraled my life more than anything. It's fucked up my jobs, my money, my time, my energy. And uh, I have nightmares all the time. This is how much on a blackout I must have been. And not like literally like on a blackout, like from drugs or alcohol. But I was talking to a subscriber of mine last night who was super cool, or tonight, it was super cool and like helps me get a job and everything. And um, she's like, you don't remember the last time we hung out? I'm like, what do you mean? Because, like, we're, like, we don't talk all the time. Like, you know those people you don't talk to all the time, but you're, like, friends? I have made some friends, but we're all crazy. And it's all just different. And um, she actually hooked me up with the job. And uh, she's actually had my back the whole time. And she goes, yeah, dude, we hung out right after you got out of the hospital. I'm like, what? Because it's not like I left the hospital all drugged up. For fucking $5,000 a day, I should have left drugged up. Or I should have been there drugged up. I wasn't even drugged up. I didn't even eat food. Like, and then somebody tells me if you're in there and you don't eat food, like, they didn't even give me soap, bro. Or privacy or, like, you couldn't even, like, I would have to take a shower in front of all these crazy motherfuckers. Like, so, if you guys have heard this before, or if you haven't, like, share, subscribe, welcome to my shit show. But it's going to be a fun adventure. It is. It's just like I went through some shit. So she's like, dude, I was hanging out with you like right after you got out. Zero recollection. I didn't leave on drugs. I wasn't fucked up. She was like, you were fine. You acted totally normal. She's like, you were talking normal. You drove excellent. Like. But I must have zombied out and I don't even remember our whole hanging out. She said, I brought her to my house. I showed her like, hey, this is where I fucking piss. This is where this happened. This, that, that, blah, blah, blah. You know, such and so forth. I don't remember any of it. A lot of people think that. And this kind of makes me wonder even more. Like. Your brain can only, like, legitimately take so much information in and then you've got to push out. And I'm dealing with so much in Vegas and I'm not, like, asking for people's mercy. Like, I brought this challenge on, but I think maybe, like, it makes me sad to know I didn't even see her for, like, 
I don't remember at all, like, hanging out with her. Like, she would be like, bitch, you were white girl wasted. Like, she didn't say that. She was like, dude, you were normal. Like, and I don't remember a second of it after the hospital. Like, I've been so messed up since I got out of the hospital. Like, not really. Like, I don't think I am. I think I'm normal. Like, everything was fine up until then. But, like, it so stresses me out and so has flipped my life upside down. No Fresh Prince of Bel-Air jokes. That, like, it's traumatized me. Like, I am, like, what do I do now? Like, the fact that I don't remember hanging out with her. And she said, like, you were totally legit. She'd be like, bitch, you were fucked up. Or, like, you were, no, I wasn't. She was like, you were totally normal. But, like, she's like, dude, I think you were still, like, in some weird kind of, like, just trauma. Like, trauma from being forced by cops to go to this weird hospital. All this blood drop. Like, I couldn't do anything. Like, it was totally against my will. And I didn't need to go. And now I don't even remember a whole session of, like, hanging out with this girl. It really upsets me. It upsets me that, like, she was a good friend and I don't remember her being there afterwards. I told you guys, my mom, who was so worried about me, I asked her to, like, send me a pair of $5 shoes over a three-day period because she got me locked up for three days and uh, she did it. And it cost me, like, over $10,000. And then I can't even remember anything after that. Like, every day is just, like, dude, I feel so angry like I don't want to be angry I don't want to be an angry person I don't want anybody to have that control over me I used to like you guys saw me at times when I walked when I wrecked my car I didn't wreck my car I'm just waiting to get uh, my new ID which apparently takes 24 hours and five different sessions or whatever uh at the DMV um I all I need to do is take my picture They're like you got to come back December 7th okay what is today the 17th and this has already been a week luckily I got some homies they make sure I get safe home every night and take care of me and like honestly this is like the best setup group of family I've had like even though I, I wouldn't say like we're all friends but like acquaintances that's like looked out for me like my safest in Vegas and what's sad is they look out for me more than my family. They give me more than my family. They call me more than my family. And they care more than my family. Or, like, friends back home, to be for real. The ones that are alive. And then I think I'm just, like, I guess. I don't even know how to describe it. Because I wasn't blacked out drunk. And I wasn't on. So, like, I think I was, like, I think I'm, like, like literally in shock. That like, okay, so take for instance, there's this dude I work with and he's a born and uh, raised like Nevada native. And he, we had a, like some bags like on a rack because, you know, I work at a store and he's like, dude, don't call yourself a failure because I'm like, I can't believe like this happened. And like, I'm just like really disappointed that I let myself get here because I am a hustler. And uh, even my sister said to me the other day, my baby sister, and this is the first time we talked to him she goes, and I don't think she's 100% right, but I don't think she's 100% wrong. She says, you were always the go-getter. And no matter what fucking life threw at you, you were like, bro, I got this. But now you're always finding, like, problems to be the solution to your problem. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I, mean, I kind of know what she's saying. Like, I was like, I'll kill it. And I still will. But, like, so he was on the backs. And he's like, dude, most people get spit out ate up and spit out in a day. And considering I'm a fucking country girl from St. Louis, Missouri, I didn't think I was country, but I will have to wear that hat for a moment. Uh, He's like, here, this is Vegas. It's putting out his feelers. It doesn't know what to do with you. It's putting out his feelers. I lasted three years. It's still chewing me up, dude. And I'm not even out here gambling or, I mean, you know what I'm saying. And uh, I'm not, I'm not going to let it spit me out. I mean, it might. And if it does, then it'll lead to another adventure and make me a lot smarter. But I would surely, I'm surely fucking pissed that it ever got this rough. So my phone's about to die because I'm in Vegas. Shout out. Um, I just think I'm, something is on the blackout. Like, I just think it's the stress, but I'm going to get it. 
every day I'm going to try harder. And I, I love you guys. Thanks for your support. Like, share, subscribe. Deuces.